Okay, my friends, let's start with the second part. Let's go back to the uh, edit mode. Uh, I'll move it, move this down a bit and also this down a bit so we can make a uh, room. So let's think, let's think. We have to think a bit. So here you can see that we, this is matching. So we can make a face from this one, but uh, we can also make a face from this, this four vertices uh, here if I press F, but I think this is too big. So we can add a loop cut here like this, and then we can make a better squared uh, face. So let's start. I, I will start from the nose, so I will select this edges, so this two edges. Okay, let's 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 add the loop cut here, so it will be perfectly. It really depends on your person, on your character, which you are retopologizing. But my one has uh, like this angle here, uh, when, when where it should be the edge. So I'm adding just the edge there to better refine it. So I'll just add the edge there. So now we have quite a lot of vertices on the nose, but I do it because I want to extrude it up. So I will select these two vertices and maybe also this one. So these three vertices and I will extrude them up so we can make the nose like this. So let's extrude it up and I will extrude it one more time like this and I think it should be fine for now so let's see if it works we will leave it for now like this I'll select uh, this three again and I'll extrude extrude them down I'll stretch them to the end of the nose like this and I'll try I'll try to finish the nose. So here let's extrude, extrude this one and I will connect this four vertices to make a face and I think that we have to separate this from uh, this main loop so I'll click V here so now these vertices are separated I'll move them down like this so it will match better with the nose with the shape of the nose as you can see here and we can make a quad using this four vertices so let's click f you have a new face here and we will keep extruding from this vertice like this like this so it will match this curve basically and now let's uh, select the first loop and click F to make a face and keep clicking F till, till it fill out your faces like this and I think we sh can now connect the bottom of the bottom um, loop from to the top loop of the lip so select this edge and this two vertices click F to add the face and now select those two and you should be able to click F a few times to make them connect uh, to each other so I'll, I'll not be that smooth because I'm not uh, re uh, I'm not that good at retopologizing so I'll I have I will start be stopping sometimes and just think about how I want to structure my face so bear with me guys okay so here we have a, a weird thing uh, I want to finish this loop so we can either join this two loop together with each other like here or we can make a new loop because we have to finish it uh, on top here 
So I will leave it for now and I will uh, keep filling the mouth from top. So let's select this three. Let's move them up. Let's extrude them up like this. And here we can also extrude it here. And we can make a face from this. And I think we can do it one more time. So let's extrude it. And let's make a face. So we have another thing added here. And now we have to think how to fill it, fill this part. So I think the best way is to make one more loop here. Um, one, extrude one more vertices so we can finish this loop like this. So I'll select those four and those four to finish the, the loop. And now we can make a quad from here, from this one. And this also we can connect like this. And we can finish with this part. So let's, uh, here we can make a face. So let's select those two, click F. And the nose is quite a complicated part. I think we can extrude it one more time. Or no, or let's leave it for now. Let's select those two. We'll start making the this thing, the nostrils. So let's extrude them two times like this and we can connect it with the top. So I'll select those four and click F to fill the face. Now we can select this one. We can extrude it here to match this vertice, extrude it again to match it again. And now let's connect them. So let's uh, make a face from them. And now I think that we can add one more edge to fill this face. And we can select this edge, extrude them down to finish our nose. And this will be connected to this one, to this edge. So let's select those four. Let's click F. It's now connected. And we have a very nice loop that we can close here. So this will be quad. And this also will be a quad. So it's all good. And uh, my like my topology is not the best. So uh, it's good for just doing the rendering stuff. I will just fix a few things here. So I'll make everything more nice. Uh, but it's good enough to uh, unwrap it and to render. Uh, if you want to make the like animations from your character, you want to animate your character, uh, you should uh, make those loops better. M mine are, are good, but they are not perfect. So as you can see, there's a lot of loops that uh, they are not good. But if you will not animate the face, so you will not have facial expressions. This is good enough. Or if you have it, it's good enough. You will not see that much uh, problems when doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so uh, we finished the, the mouth. Now we can go to the eyes. So I'll go select those three. I'll extrude them again. I'll rotate them like this and I will make I will start making the loop that is going around the eye. So I will select those two and I'll extrude them and they will just go around the eye. So later we can connect uh, the loop with this loop. So I will just I'm trying basically to match the bottom loop so they have the same space. And I think 
we should stop around here. So basically where, where you meet this uh, nice angle, you should stop for now. So you'll leave it like this. And we have to somehow connect it with our, uh, we have to so somehow connect it with our mouth. So now we can basically select the edge where we want to extrude the loop from. So I'll, when you start seeing that this part is very far away from this one, this is the place where you should make your loop. So I'll select those two and I'll extrude them like this and just now follow the loop. And then those two will connect with each other. So let's see, this should be okay. Okay, this should be somewhere like this. And we have to, we want to connect them with each other. So, um, Let's see guys, let me think. Okay, so we want to extrude it one more time, like here, and we want to uh, select those two vertices and just join them. So we will merge them by clicking Alt M and select Add first. So now we have disconnected. So we want to make a face from this. So I'll extrude one vertice here and I will make a face from this. And now we should have this uh, loop and we can now connect it. So let's start from here. I think we can start from here. So let's select those four vertices. And now I'll just select those two and start clicking F to see if they match. And as you can see, they are not very matching because there's too much on the top, I think. Yeah, there's too much on the top. So we have to move this more to the right. And I think that we can delete this one. So let's double select it. Let's select it by double clicking on it. Let's dissolve the edge. So it will not be there anymore. And now we can, we have the same amount of loops. So let's, now we can connect everything with F. You can see it's very nicely closing. Here will be a problem, I think. No, it will not be. And now we can adjust this a bit to match it better. So now we can continue. And as you can see, this is not good because we have too much on the bottom. So we'll select this and dissolve the edge. We'll move this more to the left so it will match better. And if you keep pressing F, it should fill out everything for you. So here we have a diff uh, weird thing. If you click F, you can see that those two will be connected and I don't want that. I want basically to make a face from this one. And now we have uh, five vertices and you can't make a quads if you have five vertices. So we have to add one more edge here. So I'll add it here and now we can join them, connect them. So I'll select the bottom and click F. So now we have uh, the eyes joint and the face joint and uh, let's go back to the Object mode, let's save and let's go to the local view and let's see how it looks. As you can see, it start, it starts to look very well, very good. So I think this will be it for this part, guys. Uh, we will continue in the next part where we will close our eyes and uh, mouth. So thank you and see you guys in the next one. Bye.